So what is improvement in your organization? In five words, make things safer, simpler, better, faster, and cheaper. These things are the processes, the product, or service. Why is it crucial to improve? We observe that if the organization doesn't improve, it gets worse. There is no status quo. The only two options are evolve or die. Everyone agrees? Then the next question is, who and when do we improve things? Well, the most powerful and empowering approach is when improvement is everyone's daily business. Then some argue, and we are too busy for that. Okay, that's the theme of this loop. One approach to make improvement everyone's daily business. But first, without any standard, there won't be improvement. So what is a standard? Tracy Richardson writes that a standard is the best known documented method at a given moment that we all agree to be accountable to until we improve it together. Just let that sink in. We use a standard as a reference for training and a benchmark for improvement and it's documented. All that standard documentation answers the questions, what we do, why we do what we do, and how we do what we do. Depending on what we are describing, we will use templates that are fit for purposes like job descriptions, service level agreements, checklists, and many more. Some would say this is too much admin. Actually, when employees apply their minds and time to write a standard, they are showing respect for the next generation of employees that will learn better and faster for their new skills. A digital document management system will preserve organizational knowledge. It is easy to access, easy to create, and it's well controlled. To meet those requirements, MP provides a pre-configured document management system on the team page platform. Knowledge is organized in four main groups and sections for easy access. We have our core processes, where value is created for the customers. Then we have the support processes. They are enablers of the core processes. Under management systems are regrouped the various international or industry standards the company has established. The last group is a glossary where each definition can be linked to other documents. In each section, there are the relevant set of documents with more than 20 templates that make easy document creation. Every document has automated version control and unique identification. Thanks to the technology, document administration is reduced. There are three types of standard documents that are of particular interest in this loop. The Standard Operating Procedure, or SOP, the Work Instruction, and the Service Level Agreement, or SLA. The SOP describes how to operate a system or a process. The Work Instruction explains how to operate an activity. And the SLA defines the performance expectations between internal customers and suppliers. All these standard documents provide the information to define what performance needs to be managed and measured. Leadership will determine which are the critical processes that they want to measure in the mini business units. We previously covered key performance indicators in Loop 2, Manage Team Performance. With standards and triggers, we can see problems and manage them. A short interval KPI triggered a problem that needs solving, as we briefly explained in Loop 2. Let's add some colors to our explanation. Problem-solving methods would usually attempt to answer these three questions. Question 1. What happened? When the KPI was triggered or the problem showed up. Question 2. What must we do now? And question 3. How to stop it from happening again in the future? The first two questions look at correcting the problem. These are immediate contingency actions. The production line may be down or a customer needs to be serviced. The root cause is still there. The problem is likely to come back. By answering question three, we strive to find a root cause. A countermeasure may reduce the impact of the problem or even eliminate it. This is the corrective action. So the correction must be attended to rapidly. It is a speed issue. Do it now. Finding the root cause to the problem can take time, and so could the implementation of the countermeasure. This is resource consuming and it needs to be done well. This is a quality issue. Another trigger for improvement is a non-conformity. It is a deviation to a standard and abnormality. It could be internal, such as a production line irregularity, or one or more failures to meet quality standards. It could be an external non-conformity, like our external customers explaining that we are failing to deliver consistently quality product on time. A non-conformity could affect a process 
or a product. A nonconformity report is created when an investigation to the abnormality is conducted. Then action is taken to control and correct the issue and deal with the consequences. Here on Team Page, this nonconformity form is linked to the nonconforming process. The result of the investigation and actions taken is documented. When the correction is applied, the next question is do we need a corrective action? As we've seen, a corrective action will require to solve the problem by finding one or several root causes, decide on countermeasures, and implement them. This is time and resource consuming. How can we limit this effort so that we can focus on the problem that have serious impacts on people, customers, and the business in general? A single slip-up or one missing document shouldn't be treated the same as a repetitive process failure of a major safety risk. The decision to pursue a corrective action should be based on risk. The responsible leaders look at the likelihood of the nonconformity to reoccur and its consequence. Then they may motivate not to start the corrective action process. The corrective action form is a repository of the problem-solving process where the root cause is identified using the method of choice. The motivation for the countermeasure or solution is also there, and the verification of its effectiveness to address the root cause. The innovation form was introduced in Loop 1, Manage Process Risks. It captures the mini project required to implement the solution or countermeasure resulting from the outcome of a corrective action. All the standards and records of nonconformity, corrective action, or innovation are necessary to capture improvement and knowledge. They need to be simple enough to use and unintrusive, yet they must support accountability. There is a fine balance between unnecessary admin and the discipline required to integrate improvement into daily business. Improvements achieved with the innovation resulted in the standards being adjusted. I'm referring to the SOP, Work Instruction, and SLA. The loop is closed. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll present to you how to break down silos in the organization with the management of internal customer and supplier relationship between teams.